Hello boys and girls, welcome back to 5th grade math with Mr. Herring. Today we will be continuing our fraction unit. Today we are going to be doing some multiplication of fractions and whole numbers. So today I can use a model to multiply a whole number by a fraction. I will show that I understand how by explaining how to use a model to answer two fraction multiplication problems. So today we're going to multiply fractions by whole numbers using models. And at the end, we are going to work with a partner and explain to our partner how to answer two multiplication of fractions and whole number problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and get. So find a part of a group. That is what we are doing today. We are going to be uh, multiplying a fraction by a whole number and that means finding a part of a group, okay? Look at this model here. <clears throat> so the question I'm asking is, what is two-thirds of 18? Now, when you see this word of, the word of in a mathematical sentence like this, two-thirds of 18 is like saying two-thirds times 18, okay? So what I really want to know is how much is two thirds of 18? Now we've got four steps to remember, four short and easy steps to remember. First, we want to draw three groups. Why am I drawing three groups? Because my denominator said I have two out of three groups. So this three, my denominator tells me how many groups I have. So looking at this model here, I have one, two, three groups. We've got three domino looking pictures, okay? Secondly, we are going to equally divide the number I'm looking for the part of. So that's my whole number here. So I want to equally divide 18 into those three groups. So if we use a strategy we've done in class, we keep putting dots until we get to 18, counting by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if you look, we have six in each group. There's an equal number in each group. And then my third step is circle two of those groups because my numerator says I want to count two of the three groups. <laughs> okay, so if I take and circle two of those groups, and then last, we count how many are in the two groups. So there are six in each group. So six plus six gives me 12, all right? And there's a lot of ways of looking at this. Um, this is just the first uh, way that I've, I've, I've taught it. Um, you will hear me do a couple different ways here shortly, okay? So let's look at another. So how about two fifths of 15? All right, so let's approach this a little differently. Let's look at my numerator. The numerator tells me how many parts I'm counting. So in this problem, I'm counting two of the parts. The denominator tells me how many parts there are in all. So in this case, we have five equal parts. If you look here, we have one, two, three, four, five equal parts or domino looking pictures. We've got five groups, all right? And the whole number, 15, tells me how many are in the five groups total. So if I take 15 and I divide it by five equal groups, you're going to get three because three times five is 15. Okay, so 15 divided by five is three. And then I need to count two of those groups. So I circle two of those groups and I get six because three plus three equals six. If you think about it, 15 divided by 5 equals 3, and 3 times 2 equals 6. There's kind of the math, you know, I like to teach a, a math pattern, a math route. There's my math route there. 15 divided by 5 times 2 equals 6. Okay, let's look at another. All right, <clears throat> so in your notes, you should have glued in the find uh, the yellow note card today. Below that, we're going to practice this problem here, okay? So I want to know what is two-thirds of six, okay? So let's look at it. How many equal groups should I have? That's right. The denominator tells me I have three equal groups. 
So I'm going to draw three equal groups. So one, two, three. And then second, we're equally dividing the number six, the whole number. Divide your whole number by those groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That gives me two in each group. And then third, we're going to circle how many groups? Well, the, not, the numerator tells me how many parts I'm counting. In this situation, we're counting two of the groups. So I'm going to circle two of my groups. And then my last step is count how many are in the two groups. One, two plus one, two gives me four is my answer. Again, if we look at the math, six divided by three is two and two times two equals four. And that matches my answer here. All right. On the note side, this So three fifths of ten. Three fifths of ten. So let's do the let's do the fraction part first. I'm counting three of the five groups, so I need five groups. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna be circling three of them. So I can go ahead and circle those three groups right now. Now divide that ten by the five groups. So what is ten divided by five? Ten divided by five is two. So I have two in each group and then count three of those groups so one two three gives me two plus two plus two and the answer to that is six okay all right how about four sevenths of 35 what do I know I know that I have seven groups so one two three, four, five, six, seven. And I need to divide 35 by those seven groups. So 35 divided by seven is five. And I'm counting four of those groups. So one, two, three, four. How many do I have in four groups? Five, 10, 15, 20 is the answer. Let's do the math. 35 divided by 7 equals 5, and then 5 times 4 equals 20. Okay? All right, how about this one? 3 fourths of 16. What do I know? 4 is my number denominator, so I have 4 groups. Very good. I need 16 total dots, so 16 divided by 4 is four. So I've got four in each group. And then we're counting three of those groups. So if I count three of those groups, four plus four plus four gives me 12. Let's do the math. 16 divided by four equals four times three equals two. 12. Sorry, 12. Okay. All right. Let's think about it this way. I'll take another approach. Which problem does this model represent? All right. So what do we what do we know? All right. Let's think. We know that we have the numerator, the denominator, and the whole number. We said that the numerator told us how many parts we're counting. Well, look at this model. How many parts did I circle? Yes, we circled two of the three. So two is my numerator. That's how many parts I'm counting. The denominator tells me how many parts there were in all or how many groups there were in all. In this case, we have one, two, three groups. And they're multiplying by the whole number is the total number of little pieces. So I've got one, two, three, four, five in each row column. So five, 10, 15. So this model shows me two thirds of 15. So that gives me a. All right. Again, numerator, how many groups we're counting. Denominator, how many groups we have in all. Whole number is how many pieces there are in total. All right, let's try another one. <clears throat> Again, numerator, denominator times 
whole number. Easy part, numerator. How many groups am I, did I circle? We circled two groups. Denominator, how many groups are there in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups. Times the whole number. How many pieces do I have? Four in each group. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups. So seven times four is 28. So two sevenths of 28. D is my answer. All right. And that's how we multiply whole numbers by fractions. Looking back, remembering those steps. Okay. Numerator, denominator, whole number. The, the numerator, how many parts we're circling. Denominator, how many parts there are all together. Whole number, how many pieces there are in all. All right. Okay, and that is multiplying fractions by whole numbers. So I'm going to leave you with this quick question. Go ahead and answer these three questions. Push pause. When you're done answering them, hit play to get your answers. Okay? All right, go ahead and do that. Okay, if you're ready for the answers, the answer to number one is 12, the answer to number two is 15, and the answer to number three is 18. I'll explain them really quickly. 21 divided by 7 is 3, and 3 times 4 is 12. Number two, 24 divided by 8 is 3, 3 times 5 is 15. Number three, 24 divided by 4 is 6. And 6 times 3 is 18. And those are your answers. If you have any questions, please come and see me, and I will clarify. Try to clear up anything that you need questions on. Other than that, good luck with your tasks and your homework. See you guys.